Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Conquest Counter video guide. Now you will be able to find this and all other Conquest video guides on my Swagga for Life website. If you haven't seen it yet, there will be a link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. There's lots of useful resources for Conquest there uh, from my daily plan that you can follow along whenever Conquest is live if you want to. Then of course the enemies guide that includes these counter videos that I'm doing and as well as speed calculator, got feeds guide, recommended data disks, really anything that will allow you to conquer the conquest. Now in this particular video I'm going up against Rex lead here in Sector 5. Obviously in Sector 5 enemies are very fast, over prepared and on top of it all from Rex's lead whenever you critically hit them they're gaining bonus uh, turn meter. So definitely using teams uh, that can control turn meter to some degree will hopefully help you to take these guys out. Now in this video I'll be using the Gone in 30 seconds data disk set. So let me show you what I'm rocking here. Uh, also, this data disk set relies on volatile accelerator, two stacks of amplify agony, and unstable decelerator uh, to do lots of damage very quickly. And then the other two these are kind of uh, situational, what you've got really. In this case, I use vitality for some extra survivability. And I really come to love the ruthless swiftness for some extra turn meter for your guys whenever an enemy falls below 100% health. And as all other videos, you have to start off uh, with CLS here, Han and Chewie. Uh, so I just added to one shot five so you don't have to worry about his sacrifice going. So as you can see enemies got bonus turn meter but so did we because of the ruthless swiftness data disk. I'll just go ahead, finish them off, unload an AoE and that should be the end of all the clones. Uh, so moving on for the next team, a very similar team. Again, using Han and Chewie to be honest. <laughs> With this data this set, you really need Han and Chewie and any free characters and you should be fine, but obviously best Carmando whenever we deal damage. Scoundrels will be getting a bonus turn meter. Uh, so this will again allow you to get a jump start on guys because obviously Han shoots first, you get your turn meter train rolling and this is pretty much the end for the enemy. Cody still hanging in there, not for long, Chewbacca there finished him off. So you can see Han and Chewie, any free characters doing really well versus clones. And I'm just going to use my default Jedi team, they're just kind of a foolproof team. You've got Saver, you've got Revives, you've got bonus turn from Anakin, so it kind of allows you to get 3 star victories versus almost all opponents here. Yeah, they took out Revan, that's okay, this triggers now bonus turn for uh, Anakin, then I can use Heroes Arise, which in turn gives turn over to Luke, then he can go ahead, use his mess stun, which can't be resisted. Um, let's just stall this out until we can bring uh, Revan back and this will then allow for a free star victory. Savior triggered, that's okay. With all these damage over times they will just die off whenever they get a turn no matter how tanky they are uh, when they got stat boosts uh, from fives. Uh, another great team for this data this set is General Grievous here with his droids. They'll get a jump start, hit somebody, then obviously B2 here uh, will get bonus turn meter and do his AoE, all this damage, over times and everything, bonus uh, turn meter engaged and boom, <laughs> Grievous finishes them off with his AoE, these clones never had a chance. Uh, moving on, uh, we got kind of a clone showdown but obviously bringing in John Skywalker lead here. Um, now John Skywalker is one of the teams that mm, could be a 2, could be a 3 star victory, depends what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and see if they will be able to bring down John Skywalker or not. Luckily counterattacks should take care of fives there, he just died from damage over times. And let's see if we can quickly now burn through the rest of the clones before uh, John Skywalker takes a seed. Because obviously if he does take a seed most likely you will lose one of your clones. But anyway he was able to finish these guys off before they've done that for a 3 star uh, victory. Uh, another clone team here, but this time is Shakti and Bad Batch. Now Shakti and Bad Batch are very good um, because of the Shakti will gain bonus turn meter whenever uh, the, these Bad Batch guys are hit. Then she can give 100% turn meter over to uh, Echo. Then uh, he does his debuff thing, gives turn meter to your guys. Uh, a couple of AoEs and all clones are quite easily defeated here. So again, a great team here, quite easy versus these clones using Gone in 30 seconds data they said. Another team works similar like uh, Han and Chewie, right? Um, they use Watt, uh, he gets his bonus turn in the beginning. This then triggers Frenzy on uh, Maul, so he gets 100% turn meter. There we go, a couple of AoEs and now Maul can just go ahead, 
finish them off like it's uh, nobody's business. Uh, it's definitely a fun team here to use uh, versus clones, even in Sector 5. And then here we come to the part where I mentioned before that, you know, if you do have a team that can stop the turn meter, uh, it can work as well. That's I'm bringing in Hux here, because while Hux has advantage, uh, they won't be able to gain bonus turn meter. Then Kylo is uh, counter-attacking um, by himself already anyways. And then also while Hux has uh, this buff on him, uh, then everybody's counter-attacking. So as you can see, we can very quickly get rid of these guys. We're getting nice assists there from Sith Trooper. We get a stun on Cody, and this is pretty much it for the clones. So definitely Hux shuts them down, shuts their bonus turn meter down. If they do an AoE, they get counter-attacked into oblivion. Uh, now we got Padme here, just a standard Padme team, obviously. The fifth character here you see for PO, but can probably whatever you've got, to be honest. They're very fast, they get a jump start on it. But hopefully here, Kenobi can tank for us. Um, luckily, they do have a lot of attacks out of turn, these guys. So you should be getting a nice bonus protection up here. Uh, as soon as you get a turn, you kind of finish off fives. So again, you do not have to worry about his sacrifice. Going after X next, so he doesn't use his air advantage potentially with somebody. Um, there we go, got Echo out as well. Rex will die off from damage over times anyway, so just kind of let him be. And I finished off his friends first, and then he just fled the battle. Uh, then we got the Darth Revan here. Um, the Darth Revan could be a tricky one, I guess. They could potentially take somebody out. As you can see, they're going after HK. Uh, but luckily, Marauder is gaining some bonus turn meter. Um, but once, as soon as they trigger taunt on Malak, to be honest, there is not much they can do here. Um, they'll get fear and everything. Um, we might trigger their sacrifice, I'm not sure what happened because of that mark, but it doesn't matter. As soon as HK gets a turn, his AoE loves this data they set, because obviously it applies tenacity down and things like that, so then it triggers all the effects. Another safe team you can use versus these guys as well is uh, Treya, uh, also with Talon for some extra survivability for your guys. Uh, and also if they hit Treya, you're getting some bonus turn meter. And then of course, the Sif Trumbrand, they've got so much synergy between them anyways. Okay, here we go. Finally got a turn. Let's go ahead and increase cooldowns. Uh, do another AoE over here. Uh, I think we triggered... Did we trigger Sacrifice? I think we did. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead, finish these guys off, uh, that's it, so try works very well versus these guys as well, no issues whatsoever, definitely Ruthless Swiftness, they're helping us out to get an early start. Uh, then up next uh, we've got here Imperial Troopers, uh, bring in Pre-Taunt for Short Trooper, because then whenever he, they hit him, uh, Piet will be gaining bonus turn meter, and this will allow him to get a jump start here quickly and go in, unfortunately they... Uh, did get a stun on uh, my Dark Trooper, but doesn't matter. I started off with Daze anyway from Piet, um, just to stop their turn meter gain, to be honest. And this is pretty much it now. And just Cody. Boom! And down he goes as well. So Troopers as well can get the job done, just thanks to Piet's gaining bonus turn meter when your pre taunter is getting uh, hit. Moving from one Empire team to another Empire team, Lord Vader. Uh, both Vaders absolutely love this data this set. <laughs> because Lord Vader just gets a turn, he applies damage over times, more damage over times, and then Darth Vader does his AoE, yeah, and this is pretty much it. So yeah, definitely Lord Vader, an excellent, excellent Galactic Legend here, if you do have him unlocked. And same thing goes for Jedi Master Kenobi, he will be stopping bonus turn meter gain uh, from the enemies, so you won't be, you don't need to worry too much about it. To be honest, you can just auto-play this one, and just target fives and hit auto. Uh, this will pretty much be over quite quickly. There we go. Just speeding up the footage. There's not much else to say here, to be honest. <laughs> These clones can't really do much unless they're gaining bonus turn meter. Alright guys, so that's all the battles I wanted to show you for today's video. Hopefully it helps you out a little bit whenever you do face these pesky clones that you know what data disk and what teams to use to get easy free star victories. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy life. And may the RNG be with you, my friends.